In today's video, we'll learn about Photoshop and Photopea by going over each application's benefits and drawbacks. Hopefully, by the time we're done, you'll know which is best for you. Before we continue, let me tell you about Skillshare, which is a platform that has hundreds of classes about animation, drawing, illustration, and several other creative fields. We've got you guys this course from Skillshare about layer masks using the software Photopea. Anyone can join this course as it is for full beginners, and it is taught by Nancy Seely, who will show you how to make layer masks using Photopea, which is a free Photoshop alternative. The course includes various topics such as how to edit images, how to work with topography, how to use layer masks for an efficient or workflow, and more. The Skillshare platform offers a wide variety of additional related courses, and the first 1,000 people to click the link in the description will receive a free month of premium membership. Alright, now back to the video. Photopea is a free web-based photo editing tool that has been around for a few years now. It supports both raster and vector-based graphics. It has several tools and various essential editing features like selection tools, layers, layers mask, blend, Marcus, and so on. That can help you combine all of the essential tasks like creating graphics and backgrounds, editing pictures, and so much more. It also handles a variety of image formats to import and export, like JPEG. PAG, PNG, GIF, or GIF, whatever you prefer, SVG, PDF, and many more, including the Photoshop file format, PSD. It should be noted that Photopea only works in browsers, so as soon as you type Photopea into your web browser, you'll be ready to start working on your projects. Furthermore, it's an open project available on GitHub. Therefore, you can suggest any new feature you want the developers to add. So as soon as you type Photopea into your web browser, you'll be ready to start working on your projects. On the other hand, I bet you already know Photoshop, a raster graphics editor and one of the most popular and widely used Adobe programs. Photoshop was introduced in the 1980s, and since then it was known as the trademark and the industry standard in photo editing. Photoshop was mainly used as a photo editing application, but nowadays it has become a versatile program that is capable of mainly everything. It offers a wide range of tools that help you create graphic design, digital artwork, and even 3D designs and animations, as well as creating unique special effects. All of this makes it an essential tool for both seasoned and inexperienced designers, graphic artists, photographers, and even web developers. Photoshop is adaptable enough to support both Windows and Mac operating systems. You can also use the official Photoshop Express Editor on Android, iOS, and Windows mobile devices. So is Photopea the same as Photoshop? Let's find out together by making a side-by-side -side comparison. Starting out with the user interface by looking at the UI, we will find that both programs are identical and follow a similar design language. They both have a toolbar on the left where you will select different tools for editing images, and the sidebar on the right contains panels like layers, history, text, paragraph settings, and many more that you may need during your work, and finally, the document window in the center, which is our working area. In addition to all of that, unlike Photopea, in Photoshop you can move and change a panel's location, so you can create a custom workspace that fits you well. Photoshop is a vast program with many functionalities and a range of advanced editing tools and for sure has the edge over Photopea, which lacks some of the most recent and AI-based tools. The RAW editor is one of the most important features in photo editing. Photopea features a built-in RAW editor that is similar to Photoshop. It has Adobe Camera Raw and works similarly to it. It allows you to make some adjustments like temperature, exposure, brightness, and contrast before completing the editing using Photopea. However, it's missing the ability to independently adjust the blacks, whites, highlights, and shadows, as well as sliders for clarity and texture, which we can also do in Photoshop. Also, in Photoshop, you can add plugins to bring additional functionalities to boost your workflow and take your work to the next level. Another feature that we can't find in Photopea, unfortunately, since it's heavy for a web application, is the ability to create 2D animation movies with the time 
timeline panel. Meanwhile, in Photo P, we can animate using layers, but it's not a big thing compared to what we can do with Photoshop. In addition to all of that, Photoshop supports some features that help speed up team working and collaboration on big projects, like the ability to share your work with your team to get feedback in the form of comments and annotations. Also, it has cross-platform functionalities with other Adobe software, so you can easily share your Photoshop files with software like Premiere Pro and After Effects. Both software come with many templates. For example, Photopea has a section with thousands of free PSDs, such as social media templates, mockups, resumes, memes, and more that can help speed up your workflow. Meanwhile, in Photoshop, we can find templates when we create a new file under each preset option. When it comes to exporting and supporting file formats, both support many file types like PSD, GIF or GIF, RAW, PDF, JPEG, and many more. However, each has a specific file format that can be found in the other. Photoshop, for example, supports formats like DICOM, MPO, EPS, PCX, and PXR. On the other hand, Photopea supports a few that we don't see in its opponent, like ICO and WebP. Besides, Photoshop lacks some features that we can only find in Photopea. Most importantly, supporting vector-based graphics and offering a rich set of tools to work with vectors like in Adobe Illustrator. Also, we can open images from URLs, which can be very useful sometimes. Before jumping to the next section, we should let you know that in Photopea, the tools sometimes freeze while editing and some features are not as smooth as Photoshop. But still, that's okay for being a browser-based application. So let's get started with Photoshop. Even though it is a simple and easy to use software, the interface is crowded with panels. Since Photoshop is a versatile program that covers many aspects of design, illustration, photo editing, and many more, you'll probably find tools you'll never use. Moreover, it will make the learning process even more complex. Photopea, on the other hand, is a speedy program and more user-friendly, especially if you're already familiar with Photoshop. Besides, it is quick to learn using the whole set of tutorials provided by Photopea. Last, but certainly not least, the most common question is how much these software cost. Well, Photoshop is only available as part of the Adobe Creative Cloud subscription, which costs $20.99 US dollars per month, if you buy the software individually, that is, and $52.99 US dollars per month if you buy the whole Creative Cloud set that contains more than 20 other Adobe software. However, Adobe offers a 7-day free trial that includes all the features and updates in Photoshop's latest version, so you can have a look before you buy the paid plan. Unlike Photoshop, Photopea is a free-to-use application, yet some ads appear on the screen to support the software's development. However, the ads are not intrusive and can be eliminated by upgrading to a premium account that costs from $333 to $100 per month, depending on the user's number. That was it for today. So, which one would you choose, Photoshop or Photopea? Let us know in the comments section below. We hope you found this video useful, and if you did, give it a thumbs up, and we hope to see you in the next one.